Orant, and this is Bird Screencast of the day. And today I want to talk about an application called Paper. Um, Paper is out for iOS. Recently, I think at least for um, the iPhone, it used to be out for iPad, and I was a big fan on the iPad. On the iPad it was a drawing application. Uh, beautiful, done with uh, books that fold, uh, like, like you can see here. Excellent drawing options, uh, rich color. You could buy the pencils as an in-app purchase, so it was free, but if you wanted to do more, you had to buy stuff. I bought it. It was an excellent application. It still is, by the way. Um, very well done. The user interface is one of the best I've ever seen. Uh, even if you can't draw, it's a must-buy. So when it was out for iOS, it's from 53.com, if you can see here, 53. When it was out for iOS, I thought, hmm, that doesn't scale literally well towards an iOS smaller iPhone. But I found out that um, it was not just a drawing application. It's a sort of kind of getting things done, remember the milk. Um, I have some IDs and I want to fold them in a book ID. And the software is free. Um, and actually it is free because they make the money nowadays on a stylus they sell. So they went from, they changed the business from the best software there is to an excellent hardware edition. And there are lots of people who have this and it's a great product. Um, you could buy it for, I think, 50 euros or something, or 50 dollars. Um, uh, and I hope they change the business again. Uh, it says 40 euros, <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> the price change when you look at it. Um, I think they will change the business or change the business again because new now the new big iPad is here. Uh, it comes with a stylus, or <laughs> you can buy it from 100 euros. Uh, and it's from Apple, better integrates with iOS, etc. So it might look less than the pretty well looking um, pencil from uh, 53. But I'm afraid uh, this probably will uh, sell more and maybe even uh, put them out of business or they have to change the business again. So what is 53 uh, for iOS? Let me show you here. I'll uh, have my phone connected and you'll see my display. So it's 53 app. Um, this is for example uh, a demo uh, space. You have uh, annotations on photos. You have, so for example, you have an ID folded together and then have all kinds of sub IDs. For example, this is a list and you can check and hide stuff. Um, have sub items, etc. So you can fold them together, check them, make them bigger or smaller. Um, and that works pretty well. Done. So this is the standard, uh, some standard examples. This is a sketch. You can do it as well with photos. Um, so I made a space, as it's called here. And you can draw, have items, make draw, make these things. Or, for example, let, let us have a photo. So, and you can say, uh, watch that building. Spelled correctly, watch that building. Oh, well, you get the idea. So there you have it. And you can make drawings as well. And it's basically the same uh, drawing uh, um, stuff as uh, iOS set or the iPad app has. So you can, if I want to have the color a bit different, you can make it here. And I can uh, do this kind of stuff, or if I prefer, I could use a drawing like this. Hello. And of course you can pitch and zoom. Hello. So excellent application. Um, I like it a lot if you think graphical. And it's a great way of combining spaces. It's very well done in every way. For example, if you delete it, it, it literally ah, it's so 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 well done. Um, I like it a lot. I think I'll be using it a lot. If you like it, it's free, give it a try, I'll uh, dump the URL in the show notes and I'll be seeing you on the next uh, uh, um, screencast of the day, almost today that is. Take care, bye.